Fourth throw in last Thursday. Last year's finalists had a plethora of changes on their starting team. The move of the second half came when Donald Burke ran in towards the goal and rocketed the ball to the top right hand corner of the net. To the latter stage of the second half, DCU started to roll their bench with John Donnelly and Rory O'Connor scoring two points apiece. After the game, we talked to Dublin and Kilmacud Croaks, they are further whitely get his thoughts on the uh, so Fergal, what's your thoughts on the game there? A good run against CIT? Yeah, it was a tough game now, uh, on a heavy pitch. Uh, yeah, we're just we're happy to get get to the next round. Um, we saw like there was a few few surprise results earlier in the Fitzgibbon with a couple of the games. So yeah, we're just happy to get the win. That's the main thing. Yeah, obviously there's a few big teams left in NUIG and that's sorry. Sort of looking ahead now to the a, a tough semi final ahead for you in the Fitzgibbon. Uh, well, yeah, we, we hadn't really thought about it. It was all. It was already just gearing to towards tonight. Uh, I think it's UCC next. Um, so yeah, it's another another battle, and yeah, we're looking forward. to I think next Tuesday. And the team obviously looked. Uh, the bench looked to make a big in impact when they came off in the second half, really pulling away from DIT. How important is the penalty uh, in your setup? Uh, yeah, it's very important. Like uh, you see, the inter county or the amount of lads that play inter county on the bench. Um, so yeah, like it. You, you saw the difference it made, and it really, um, really gave us a kick in the second half. DCU ran out two nineteen to twelve point winners against DIT in St Clair's. John Donnelly of Kilkenny was a big impact substitute for them in the second half as they pulled away from DIT. Other intercounty players such as Donald Burke made a great impact for the DCU side. They will move on to face UCC in the Fitzgibbon Cup semi final. I'm John Morley reporting from St Clair's for DCU TV News.